I have been too lazy to record on my phone. And as you know, I got my new camera. We get shoes a lot. In the words of Fatima, you have two feet. Why do you need all these shoes? Well, I'll tell you right now, Fatima. Because I like these shoes. And that's the only answer you need. Please don't hurt me. I love you. Anyways, as you can see, it's a shiny gold. Well, the black's not shiny. It's a black and gold box. My two favorite colors. Because black and gold, Lakers, Kobe. <laughs> Anyways, we got the DMP sixes. Um, I was talking all my shit on Twitter, and Rob had called me out for it. He was like, "This man's calling his shoes before the day of." The funny thing was, I took the L on sneakers, which, as you know, I've been hot on sneakers for like three years. That app loves me, and I usually, you know, I get the you've been selected or whatever the message is. And I knew these were gonna be widely available. And the reason I knew that is because during all of this pandemic that's going on, every Jordan that has released since the pandemic, meaning these were the beginning of it, has been restocked over and over and over. I've, these have been out over two weeks and these have restocked almost every day of every week since. Um, the fives that I I currently have, um, I have them. I have the 2013 edition, but they don't have the Nike Air on the back. Um, those came out last Saturday, either last Saturday or the Saturday. Uh, so two Saturdays ago, they've restocked every day in full size and since. Um, this past Saturday were those blue royal toes or whatever they were. I don't know if those are gonna restock. I I wouldn't doubt it though. Nike needs to move product. They don't have stores open. You know, they need to make money. You're going to see shoes like these retros or like these exclusives, I should say. They're general release now, which to me is awesome. I could care less. I don't I don't need anything to be an exclusive drop. Like, I get off whites being exclusive. I feel like even the Concords and stuff weren't that hard to get this year. I mean, they were available for like at least an hour. Same with the breads and stuff. I, I don't know. I think it's it's cool that everybody's getting pairs and it's kind of screwing up the resale market because people are only buying shoes to resell. And I'm not going to say that's dumb, but at the same time, like I've sold shoes, but I've they've been shoes that were a year used or like five five times worn. I, I sell the ones that I've realized and I'll pay I've worn them X amount of times. I'm not going to wear them again. Let me see if I can make money off these. I'm not buying 10 pairs of shoes to resell to make a profit or I'm not buying an exact shoe just to flip it. Um, that's not me. So if I can get every Jordan in the world, I can get every Jordan in the world. But anyways, and over the talking, the reason we're here is because we got DMP sixes. I have, uh, I think it's GMP golden moment packs. I have the seven that came with that. And I think, I don't remember a hundred percent what came with that pack. I'm going to put a picture of that up here. When I do find out, it might have been those 11s with the gold jump man. I think that was a part of the GMP. But I also think that was a part of when this originally released. So I don't know. It shows how much of a sneaker I am. Let's, let's open this up. The box, they really love this Unite paper. Um, that's been their thing all since Ulta. These are clean, man. These are, you know what? I'm going to show this one because it's got the tag. It's got the nice little hang tag on here. Um, in the front of it is the Jordan logo. I'll, I'm obviously gonna take closer images of this. Um, on the back of the hang tag, it says Air Jordan 6, June 12th, 1991, Defining Moments, NBA's first professional championship. Obviously he did not wear these, like, this exact colorway when they won their first championship. Um, these are sleek. And these are, I mean, anything black and gold to me, you're selling me on these. Um, I love the suede kind of trim of these. And it's not like hard leather that's on the other type of Jordans, like a three or a nine or even a one. Uh, twos have them. I mean, I don't own the two, though. The fours have that kind of leather. This is more like a suede leather. Um, I have the UNC sixes as well. The thing I love about these materials is. They don't crease, like, and I love that this will hold its shape, it'll hold its form. Um, it's got gold trim everywhere, 
not everywhere, but in, in the best kind of spots. It's, it's not like, you know, some shoes have the trim. It's overkill. It's got subtle trim. So it's got the gold jump man. This is like a gold plastic metal here. Gold trim here. Oh, and the bottom has gold. Uh, it's not really, well, it's like a, it's not gold. Like these, this is gold. Like this, because it's plastic, you can tell it's gold. This is gold. This is a spray painted gold. This is a gold-ish, um, but as you get to the bottom, it's, since it's the leather, the rubber part, it's more of like a, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a faded gold or a high, uh, higher bronze, maybe. Um, it does have the icy bottoms. I, to me, I'm indifferent about icy bottoms. I don't care if my shoe's yellow because I wear them. My 2013 Fire Reds are yellow on the bottom. My Space Jams are yellow on the bottom because I wear them. Um, my UNC 6s are probably starting to yellow because I, I gave them a good run of wears in 2019. Um, I, man, when we can go outside and flex shoes again and fits and whatnot, this and my off-whites are going to see so much run. Um, I love sixes. I really love the design. I love the feel. They're so comfortable. Yeah, the, I mean, it's it's a it's very sleek, but it's subtle. I think that's the nice thing about sixes. They're never overkill. They're, they're, there's so little room to put colors everywhere. It's not one of those shoes. And I love it. I didn't want to miss out on these. Black and gold is me. As you can see, black and gold. My, my freaking, as you know from the vlog, my chonklins. Chocolate Boy 2020 should be, if, if AIM were still around, that would be my username. Black and gold, everything. There are Kobe's, Nike ID Kobe's that I made his last game that are black and gold. Anyways, let me know how you guys feel about these sixes. If you landed them, I will, like, if you wanted these and you didn't land these within the last two and a half weeks they've been out, you did not want these bad enough. <laughs> like, trust me, I could go on, like, six sites right now on March, May, March, May 11th, and find you a pair that's probably discounted at this point. Like, I, if you want these shoes at this point, they're out. They're everywhere, man. Like, there's, I don't know how you can't find them, which is crazy to me that, like, the the resale on on all of these is probably like non-existent because of the restocks and as the restocks continue you're gonna probably see these under retail um within the next couple days within the next couple weeks especially these um those fives are gonna lose value like crazy i checked as of this morning and i was getting on twitter they were i think it's soul links i follow and there's another one i follow um I don't remember who that is. They post links of like every site that has restocks and it's it's full size runs. So, you know, if you wanted these, if you wanted the fives, and obviously the prices went up because of the last dance when they showed the fives and they did the the shock drop of those fives. Um I, I don't see how you can't land a pair of Jordans right now. Um, especially the retros that are coming out every Saturday. Um, I, like I said, I'm I'm going to wear the shit out of these. I love sixes, especially with some tight joggers or with, with tighter jeans at the ankles. Um, that's the thing about the, the high tops. Um, they look kind of, high tops to me with shorts look goofy, and they always have to me, so there's that. And... It's like with shorts, you got to wear low top shoes, like Kobe's or like threes. There's some mids you can get away with. I think the 13s, um, I think the 11s are considered a mid, right? You can get away with those um, with shorts. Maybe the nines. I, uh, I'm not 100% sure on the nines. Let me know if you guys cop these. Let me know if you've rocked them already to wherever you've gone. Um... Let me know if there's anything coming up that you want to see. I'm going to try for those media day LeBrons. I told the team I wasn't, but the more you see shoes that you really like, the more it's hard to say no. 
Um, I'm fully expecting an L on those. I think everybody's going to be shooting for those. So we will see about those media day bronze. If I hit them, I hit them. If not, I ended up with the All-Stars, which was awesome. Shout out Sneaker Palace. Shout out Rob. Um, but yeah, this was my quick look at the new DMP Jordan 6. Let me know if you got them. Let me know if you like them. I know I love them because they're black and gold. But yeah, that's me. Peace. Me. I think that's better. Are we straight? 